Hey guys, so today I got a delivery from FedEx and it's my Altex water housing for my camera. I figured this is something cool. I did a lot and a lot of searching around for something. I'm looking at doing some underwater videography and housing has cost a fortune and they are very fixed to what camera you buy them for. The great thing about Altex is it's not it's actually it's kind of like a condom for your camera so if you change your camera or lenses even uh, you get you can yeah, you'll use that in the housing that you have so there it is inside there barely, barely visible to the plastic housing because it is just a silicon piece. Now it's super, super tough. That is the bulk. I got the Pro Kit. Um, so it is in this SLR type shape. So that way up, yeah, there's the top. And so you can get quite a lot of size lenses in there and that just squishes and crumples to the size it's needed. And your camera just goes inside here. Now I got, again, I got the Pro Kit. So you get a glass front here. Let's see if I can find it. So that is a strap that goes around the housing and around your neck. And that's a wrist strap. Hook it up to your wrist so when you're on the water. And what I got here, I got the uh, where is it? 82 mil uh, glass front because I have a big wide angle Sigma lens. Whee! So oh, that's a nice and thick. So that will screw on and locks into the silicon at the front here. So yeah, nice and glass. A lot of other ones just come with a plastic front. So that's cool. And a step up ring. So I go from my 82 to a 72. And so I don't have to just get another piece of glass. It's got the step up ring. And that will go down to my other lenses that I have, such as like my 50 mil Canon lens. And another piece here. That I have is this will be the rear piece. You get the standard kit, which just has rubber straight across the back. Now, as you can see, that is tough to actually see through, and it works. You can still make out things, but effectively, with this piece of glass, it attaches, it screws onto it's either the base or the hot stream out, one of the two, and then it hangs there, but then also seals off at the back. So it clips effectively sits there and allows you to have a really good window to look through. And also, one of the other cool things about this is being it's a very pliable material, you still can push the buttons on your camera and even turn the dials. If one understanding, you can even still rotate the focus and zoom ring. And because this is so flexible, if you've got a zoom ring that actually, a zoom lens that comes out or goes in, it can actually accommodate for that. Uh, yeah. And oh yeah, so that's the other piece that actually holds it. So yeah, screws on underneath. So to the tripod mount, and then that holds back here. So it sits a little way from the camera because that obviously has to cover some distance, get past the actual screen and all that business. And another strap, oh yeah, yeah just a strap of some sort there. And so that one is a sticker. So you know, you represent Altex. So yeah. Uh, I haven't actually tested this thing yet. That's just an unboxing and explanation of what's going on here. It's rated to 10 meters deep is a key word there, rated. Effectively, again, this is just silicon. So this has no depth. Uh, the glass would, absolutely. Um, what the problem starts occurring, because once you get about 10 meters, you've entered a, uh, a new atmospheric pressure and so twice the pressure is pushing down so you know it all starts to basically crush in now your camera is probably going to be good for a bunch more meters but from what i understand for people who have pushed it is that button's starting to push so as it all starts to crush in under the pressure it starts pushing all the buttons on your camera and clearly that's going to cause some issues isn't it all right so altex it just doesn't come up in your search. It's not a big enough brand. It's in America, California, I believe, that they uh, do their business out of. 
And it's a great idea. It's a pliable housing for your camera to get underwater and it just you can put multiple cameras. Now this is designed for an SLR, I believe they've got uh, phone ones and some other ones as well. And, but yeah, it's pliable. So different lenses, this is the thing. So I, I paid just as much in the end for this, uh, or maybe even a little bit more than I would have for a solid housing, which can go 40 meters deep. Uh, but the versatility of being able to switch, that's the huge key. You gotta switch my lenses out. And if I change cameras, I could put a Canon, a Nikon, a Panasonic, Sony, all these sort of things could go in there. Um, but also, not just underwater, because it's actually, it works as like a environmental protection. So if you were to take it out in the sand, dust storms, dirt, mud, out in the rain, it helps to protect against all those things. Now, obviously it muffles your audio, so that gets killed, but your camera lives. So photos, videos, you can do. And so yeah, it doesn't have to be just underwater, it can just be a protective cover. So if you want to go out and film something and it looks like it's gonna rain, you can slap that on and film out in the rain. It's a muddy environment, um, Again, dust, blah, 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 all those sort of things. It's just it's protective. So that's everything from there. So yeah, that's an unboxing of my Altex camera housing that I got here. And I'll be showing it in use. And as long as it's not gonna have any leaks in it, which hopefully it doesn't. Hopefully it's all sealed up nicely, no defects. But yeah, I'll show this thing, take it, go it underwater. So big upgrade from a GoPro.